are back at Maria. Let's talk world with Maria. And look what I got here. Look who I have here. I meant sorry. You're not actually a material, are you? Well, this is Mr. Robert Morgan. But before actually we get to that point, uh, I just want to talk about what we are going to talk about today. We're going to be uh, talking about asset protection. Is that right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it is. She knows all. She's the host. <laughs> well, uh, asset protection. Uh, what is asset protection, by the way? Well, uh, let me tell you, this is a type of planning intended to protect our assets from creditor, creditor claims. Individuals and businesses and business entities use asset protection techniques to, li to limit creditors to access to access the certain valuable assets while operating within the bounds of creditor of debtor creditor law. Are you aware of okay. that? Okay, yeah. Uh, I just learned something. Oh. No, I'm I'm joking. <laughs> I, I don't think going. so. I don't I think had so. You going. Well uh, you know what I I had actually um um introduction for you but for some reason you know i'm only a one uh, one woman here You're a one woman uh, show right. yeah one woman show here i couldn't actually pull it out so okay. uh, go ahead uh, this is mr uh, robert morgan and he is an advisor i he, am how you okay go ahead and uh, introduce yourself to our um, sure. viewers uh, well first off thanks for having me i appreciate it um just a little side note how i ended up in this chair today uh, i made an attempt attempt at a Facebook Live video. Um, it went wrong, but the first couple of minutes were great. Maria was actually checking it out. Uh, we exchanged a couple of messages. Uh, she got the fact of what I do, which is what piqued her interest and wanted to have me on today. So what do I do? Um, well, basically I'm a life and health uh, advisor, a life and health insurance agent. I'm a broker with Health Markets uh, insurance agency. Um, I do operate my own uh, independent website, askrobertmorgan.com. Um, it, it's really just to get some uh, answers and contact information, a way to connect with me. I'm all over social media, Facebook and, and LinkedIn. Uh, feel free to connect with me there too. Um, but what, what do I do? Essentially, I sell insurance for a living, tell you like I tell my clients, but there's a difference between a salesman and an advisor. Um, with respect to uh, asset protection, um, the insurance products that I sell are primarily risk management type products. Health insurance, life insurance, supplemental insurance, um, disability, long-term care. Uh, there's a couple schools of thought from the industry that, you know, first you want to invest your money so that you have assets to protect. Others say, well, make sure that you've got those steps and measures in place to protect yourself before you go building a nest egg. Um, depending upon what you want to do with your lifestyle, with your money, that's the direction that I'm going to advise. Um, it's not about me, it's about my clients. Uh, there are certain things that we need to educate and we need to literally train clients. Um, there's a lot of agents out there that talk a lot about life insurance, disability insurance, long-term care insurance, great products. I sell them myself. I believe in them. But if you have a disability, if you have potentially a need for long-term care, why? Where did it stem? Well, likely it stemmed from an illness or an injury. Um, that's very cookie cutter in general, of course, but likely it would stem from that type of incident. So we, we have to be able to take a step back and look at our health insurance and let's protect ourselves from the ground up, from the ground floor. Um, let's look at our health insurance. Let's make sure that we understand how our health insurance works so that we can protect ourselves financially from the financial gaps that health insurance leaves on the table. From there, we can include our, our, our other ancillary benefits, our life insurance, supplemental insurance. Um, a lot of people don't understand all the tools that are out there. And again, as an educator, as an advisor, yeah. That's what we do. We, we sit down with you and we understand what exactly are we looking to protect. Um, what are your plans? Where do you see yourself? Um, a lot of people might get me confused with a financial planner. I am not. I don't manage money. I don't invest money. Uh, the products that I sell are, uh, again, protection or risk type 
um, non-equity products. They are insurance products. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm trying to look up your um, your um, website here so that we can actually show the public. But uh, sure. if you guys wa watching, um, I couldn't find it. Yeah. Uh, if you guys watching, just go and ask Robert Morgan Morgan dot com. Yeah, but let me just help your audience out here. Okay, go My ahead. parents blessed me with a wacko last name. It's commonly misspelled. My, my last name is M-O-R-G-E-N, E is e an Edward. So if you go to askrobertmorgan.com and it's not M-O-R-G-E-N, who knows where you're gonna end up and it's not my fault. <laughs> well, um, uh, Robert, before I go with my first question, let me just actually yeah. acknowledge our viewers here. I yeah. had uh, Rolando Keha, hi. Uh, Lani Ligsai, thank you for watching us. Um, and this is Mr. Robert Morgan, and he is an advisor. He is not a financial advisor, but he can act, we can relate of what he is gonna be sure. talking about today. And uh, by the way, Robert, uh, I was browsing on uh, your website last night, and by the way, his, um, his website is under, you know, on, on the bottom of your screen, so you can go ahead and uh, look it up, what he does, but he does a lot of things. How long you've been doing this? How, you long, how long you've been helping out the community? Sure. Well, um, I, I got uh, licensed uh, back in 2014, uh, signed my contract with Health Markets in December of 2014. Um, went through my first open enrollment uh, that year, uh, 2014 into 2015. And um, you know, I, I've, I've just been serving ever since. And uh, the industry has constantly changed year after year. Mm -hmm, uh, yes. we, we deal with changes in the industry. And a lot of the content that I put on my social media, I, I do so not because I expect people to call me every day just on that content alone because it's very dry, it's very boring. But as you're scrolling through Facebook and you see the stuff that I'm putting out there, at least you'll know, okay, hey, there's the guy that's doing all the thinking that I don't want to take time to do. Here's a trusted yes. advisor mm -hmm. that understands this industry mm -hmm. that, um, you know, uh, a big part of my job is to understand healthcare legislation, is to understand where this is going. Yeah, and that's actually can be really, really overwhelming if Very. you are, the, if, if I'm, like when I, I was um, browsing on your website last night and it's overwhelming, I'm like, you know what, I'm just gonna ask him tomorrow. By the way, uh, let me uh, actually explain to the viewers how we met. By all means. <laughs> can, I, can I show them? It's actually this. this little, I have the same one. Mine doesn't work. Yeah, well, I make mine work. She makes it work. Yeah, I do. I do a lot of uh, technical uh, things in my uh, own uh, live streaming. But by the way, no, this is actually a beautiful made... studio. By the way, I'm, oh, I'm thank impressed. thank you. Look at this. Thank you. <laughs> by the way, um, this is this is what really caught my eye my eye on you, right? When he when he actually went live, I actually just click and I. I love to see people uh, going on live on social media because that's what I do. Mm -hmm. So when I look on your live show, okay, uh, besides the point that your uh, microphone is not working, right. I start laughing when you said, I am, I am a insurance guy. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you said. You're I an did. insurance guy. I'm a life and health guy. So yeah. I was like, oh, okay, this is interesting. So let me stay more until actually your microphone went. Uh, went kaput. Uh, yeah. Yes. But anyways, yes. Uh, uh, asset protection. When I think about asset protection, mm -hmm. I'm I'm looking at asset. My mm -hmm. car, my money, mm -hmm. my uh, life, mm -hmm. my house. So I'm mm -hmm. thinking about insurance. Sure. So sure. do you think the same way? Do you think yeah. the same way, viewers? There, yeah, and by, by all means, pipe, pipe up in the comments there and, and we can see what people are saying. If there's a question, I'm happy to answer it. Of course, I'm gonna look at things from an insurance standpoint. A financial planner is gonna look at things from a financial planning standpoint. We're kissing cousins. Mm -hmm. We're kissing cousins. Um, of course, financial planners, most will uh, have the ability to invest or carry money uh, an insurance agent, uh, just an insurance, I don't mean just an insurance agent, insurance agents that um, uh, are, are not cert at CFP, Certified Financial Planners, 
Uh, typically, we don't. Uh, there are insurance agents that do, and there are CFPs that are also insurance agents. But what is an asset? You know, an asset is uh, something of value. Um, an asset could be a real property like your home, it could be an investment property, it could be your cash. Mm -hmm. It's also commonly referred to as your estate, mm -hmm, yes. your, your belongings. Mm -hmm. So w when we look at planning, when we look at protection, I don't mean to be redundant, but what I said earlier is some folks want to be able to build up their assets mm -hmm. and then seek the insurance to protect it. Mm -hmm. Others believe that it's best to have the insurance so that when you build your asset, the insurance is already there. Um, it's gonna depend on so many different things specific to who you are, what you do for a living, um, so many certain and sundries. Uh, what I do on my side, when, when you look at the overall financial risk of health insurance, um, what do I mean by financial risk? Well, very plain and simple, the maximum out of pocket in plan year 2018 for an individual person mm -hmm. is $7,350. Now that's the maximum, maximum out of pocket. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure that there are people out there that might have an insurance policy with a lower one. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying the maximum, maximum out of pocket is $7,350. Um, some would say, you know what, hey, if something happens to me, I've got a 401k, I've got an IRA, I've got a Roth. That's all well and good, but if you're under 65, now there's a tax implication. Mm -hmm. And of course, I'm sure that retirement fund was not intended for medical debt, so now how long is it going to take you to recoup mm -hmm. that loss? But when we look at medical debt, it's not just the out-of-pocket maximum to be concerned about. You're, you're paying a monthly premium. Mm -hmm. Yes. Your monthly payment is, of course, we all know our premium. Mm -hmm. So you have to take that premium and multiply it by 12 plus at that yes. maximum out of pocket. Mm -hmm. And that will reflect what that financial risk of that health insurance policy is. But does it stop there? No. When you look at the average, the average cost of care, five, six, eight hours in an ER, three, mm -hmm. four, five days in a hospital bed, you are gonna so, so, so far surpass that 7350, mm -hmm. okay? Now granted, the way that Obamacare works is that when you hit your maximum out of pocket, it, it's a debt ceiling. Mm -hmm. So you're not gonna owe any more in medical debt, but there's the loss of income. There's the unplanned prescriptions. Mm -hmm. There's your home health care. Mm -hmm. There's many things that we have to be concerned about as consumers to understand, well, what happens if I can't work for a week, a month? What happens if I need rehab or I end up on three medications? These are things that we have to take into consideration. Mm -hmm. So there are financial products or insurance products that protect our financial interests. Because when you look at insurance, and what is insurance, do you know? Well, it's uh, all I know about insurance is to actually uh, uh, protect, protect your assets if in case something happens to you but she's close, <laughs> she's close. Uh, you Gotta know have what, fun see, with it, gotta have fun with it. You know, last week uh, yeah. we have uh, we have finances uh, topic last week and actually it wrecked my brain. Yeah. Now um, you're actually making my brain more... more uh, it makes a little bit more sense. Uh, yeah, but yes, yeah, sure. of course, yeah. <laughs> what insurance is specifically, and, and this goes for car insurance, this goes for homeowners or runners insurance, yeah, all, health, they, all kinds, what insurance is, is a spread of risk Mm -hmm. It's other people's money. What we need to understand is that insurance mm -hmm. was never intended to be an end-all be-all. Insurance is a spread of risk. Oh, so okay. what that means... That makes sense. Right. Under the Affordable Care Act, I'm not here to, to champion the Affordable Care Act, there's a lot of work that our health care system needs. No doubt about it. But under the current law, Mm -hmm. The Patient Portability and Affordable Care Act, mm -hmm, or the yep. Affordable Care Act, mm -hmm. Obamacare, okay. same thing, guys. So it's, it's not actually Trump Care, it's not Obamacare, right? <laughs> it's our care, but it's that's a different, that, no, that's a plug for something else. <laughs> Go to ourcarebill.org. Do you yes. know what ourcarebill.org is? You know is? what, I am, like what I said, I'm trying to actually get there last well, we'll, night. We'll get there, we'll get there. Okay. Let, let me finish this train of thought, because I think I was hot on the topic here. Okay, I was on something. When you look at what insurance really does, it spreads your risks. Mm -hmm. If you have a $500,000 medical debt, 
-hmm. and the insurance company is willing to cover four hundred ninety plus thousand dollars of that and you have to come up with about seven grand would you say that that's okay no why uh, well I'm paying a premium correct so why should I come up with another money out of pocket because that's the spread of risk Let me, you know I'm not saying I agree with it our health care system has a lot of work that needs to be done uh -huh. but when we look at the point in the principle uh -huh. of what insurance is and what insurance does uh -huh. we have to understand that it's that spread of risk it's other people's money so when we say other people's money you've got a pool of people maybe a hundred thousand maybe five hundred thousand maybe a few million people mm -hmm. that all pay what a monthly premium right mm -hmm. now that monthly premium goes into a big pot for health insurance under the Affordable Care Act, mm -hmm. the health insurance carriers, your United Health Cares, your Aetnas, your Anthems, they all have to take 80 cents on the dollar and put it into their insurance, mm -hmm. put it into their risk pool, mm -hmm. into their providers, mm -hmm. doctors, specialists, okay? That 20% is allowed to be their profit. Now, does it work exactly like that? Come on, there's some very smart people that have spent a long time in college and that are sitting shirt and tie in a boardroom right now figuring out how to make those numbers flex, right? I'm no dummy. But all we're saying is that that's how it's other people's money. So that when an occurrence happens mm -hmm. and you need a large payout, that money's there for you. So okay? it's kind of like a trust. No, it's insurance. Yeah, it's insurance, but you know, uh, insurance and trust actually goes hand in hand too, right? They're cousins. They're cousins. Get, they're cousins. But okay. insurance is insurance. We don't want to confuse folks. Mm -hmm. You know, a trust is something private that, that is, is generated by an individual, typically amongst attorneys, uh, usually for a family. Oh, know? my God. So I'm learning a lot. Okay, go ahead. Right. So when we look at the way health insurance works, and you're like, wow, I'm, to your point, I'm paying all this money. Now mm -hmm. I still owe this much. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. So what we do, what I do as a health markets agent is I teach consumers uh -huh. what we call redirect and supplement what most people don't understand is that when you look at health insurance options and we'll go to the extreme and say like a bronze and a gold policy okay that bronze policy has a really high deductible and the gold policy usually has half so what's the difference between those exactly not much why because it's Obamacare it's the same 10 essential health benefits which are your coverages things like maternity Things like mental care, preventative care, hospitalization, those are only four. Anybody that's watching this right now can, can Google 10 essential health benefits, Obamacare, and read a list of all 10. Those are the coverages. They don't change carrier to carrier. It's not gonna, you're not going to get any better coverage with Anthem or Cigna or United or anybody else because it's all Affordable Care Act. It's a standardization of care. Okay. So when you look at the different health insurance options, mm -hmm. you might find one with a higher deductible or lower oh, deductible, mm -hmm. but the maximum out of pocket is likely to be the same or within about a thousand dollars of each other. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. There's a place in the market for gold and platinum health insurance policies mm -hmm. and that place is for the sick. Because when you look at the difference in the co-pays to go see your doctor and your specialist, mm -hmm from a bronze versus a gold, it's usually a $30, $40 difference. So, mm -hmm, yeah. But the difference and in the premium is a couple of hundred bucks. Exactly. So yeah. you better be going to the doctor four or five times a month just to break even on that premium. Exactly, yeah. That's what, that's what I kind of realize is uh, I'm like, sometimes when I choose a wheat plan, I'm going uh, to take, it doesn't really matter when it comes to the premium and the deductible. So. Well, so what we do at Health Markets is we take people, now everybody's different, this is not an end-all be-all. This is not mm -hmm. a one-size-fits-all. One mm -hmm. But if you're generally healthy, mm -hmm. maybe once or twice you see the doctor, maybe three oh. times a year. Or and not one of those is prevent Or none at all, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. None at all. Mm -hmm. Why go into a gold policy or a platinum policy or even a silver policy? Look, we know Obamacare has its challenges. If I told you, Maria, do you want something that's gold or do you want something that's bronze? Well, gold is better than bronze, right? Yes, of course. Not yeah. in this case. In, yes. Well, if you look at it, you're going to be uh, going on a higher quality, which is... Uh, the quality is the same. 
Oh, no, what I meant is if you're looking on the front face of it, right. of it, it's gold. Oh, yeah, I think gold is better. Sure. But if you That's don't actually... That's what we want people to think. Yeah, if you, exactly. But if you look... They, not we. <laughs> Let me separate that. That's what they want you to think. Yes. Not only in insurance and other products, right. too. You know what I mean? But Certainly. Uh, you're, you're looking on, uh, hey, it's gold. Like, if you don't do your due diligence, mm -hmm. researching and really um, getting into deep on that right. plan, you're not... You'll never ever know. But right. and, and you're not going to unless you have an advisor. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. Even though like what I said, it it hurts my, my brain when I am reading all these bills and everything. What yeah. is that all about? Yeah. You know what I mean? That's true. That's so well um we're gonna uh, we're gonna be back on our uh, third and fourth segment uh, and i will be having mr morgan here still so stay tuned